Hi, this is Kendra from Pencil and Pigment, and today I'm going to be drawing a mollusk. Um, that's kind of a, <laughs> a large family group name. Um, it includes snails and octopuses and all kinds of things, but a, <laughs> a slug is a gastropod along with snails, so that's kind of fun. <laughs> I'm going to be doing the banana slug since that is what's really prevalent where I live and we can story time the slug situation. So basically I don't have one with me in my office because no, it's alive and it's living its best life and I'm not doing that. I'm not moving it around to be by me. So I'm just pulling up a photograph I took and I'm going to be drawing from my photograph. Um, I have tons and tons of video footage. They come out uh, when it's foggy. They like it, you know, at dusk, um, at dawn. They like it really, really damp. So this is the traditional sort of shape of my photo. It looks kind of like a, a moon situation. Yep. It's like, I want to have some little live creatures in here. So every 10th drawing. Um, I've already done a woolly bear, which is a caterpillar. Uh, yeah. And I can have a couple, a couple slug bodies. So multiple. Um, I don't know, it would be fun. It'd be fun to do like a, I don't know, a blown up version where it's just like the head, you know? Here's the little, little pieces parts. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if a blown up version would be any good. Um, or just little pattern designs. And these are just imagine little curly cue slugs, repetitious pattern. So the colors I have chosen for this, I've pulled out three or four. So I have the uh, Dark Naples Ochre 184. I have the Warm Gray 5 274. I have Raw Umber 180. And then for a little bit of dot and stippling for um, just sort of picturing, I have Van Dyke Brown 176, but Walnut Brown would work too. I just happened to gram, grab the Van Dyke one. So let's get to drawing and <laughs> story time about slugs. I know, not everyone's favorite. So I'm going to, I have seen them at many different sizes. They can kind of stretch out. I have so much footage. Um, I'll tell you right now where I live. It is best if you watch where you're walking, especially on hikes um, in the damp forest because you don't want to squish one. You know, they're just kind of trying to cross the trail or whatever. I don't go too much off the trail, but yep, this is going to be my slug. <laughs> it looks like a dragon. Let's pretend it is. Okay. Uh, so we moved here in January of 2018. And <laughs> I wasn't, um, I'm not from a location. Let's see. Is that all right? No, we need a little bit more help. Um, yeah, we didn't have these slugs where I used to live. So seeing them for the first time was a little, oh, <laughs> those are here. Got it. Okay. And then uh, there's a black one. Mm, it's the European something something. I'll throw up the name. There's a black slug that's also here as well. Um, didn't know that's what it was. Saw it from a distance right next to a banana slug and... Uh, the slug races were going. Didn't know, <laughs> didn't know that's what it was. Uh, <laughs> gosh, I hope you're not eating. This is going to be a really gross story. <laughs> um, why is the cat scat moving? Why is it leaving the yard? Why is it running away? What is that and why is it leaving? <laughs> oh, it looked like it was... It didn't look right. It didn't look like a slug. Um, it just looked like something was slithering in a direction, <laughs> far away. 
And this um, illustration is going to be entirely in colored pencil. Since the one prior was half colored pencil, half pen, that was the apple that was from yesterday. So that's, that's my apple. Yep. Just entirely colored pencil this one, which will make it easier. You can kind of see what I'm doing, yeah? Yeah, okay. And he's got fun little striations. The thing, okay, so when stuff is a solid color, you really have to pay attention to detail and subtle nuance. Because like right here in the photograph, it's darker and then it gets lighter and then there's that bright ridge and then it gets darker at the, at the bottom again. And it's sort of grayish. It's a very grayish yellow slug. It's not for everybody. I know slugs grow some people out. If this, you know, the subject matter isn't for you, please just skip this video. Um, I have never drawn, <laughs> I've never drawn a slug before and I've never drawn a banana slug. I just, um, I love drawing uh, an octopus. That's tons of fun. Um, I don't even know if I've drawn a snail actually. I'm going to have to go through and make a, I haven't drawn list and Maybe next year uh, for a drawing challenge during the month, I will go through things I haven't drawn and that will be my drawing challenge. Okay, so. Hmm. Yep. Slugs. And <laughs> I see one every day and sometimes they curl up and they fold it on themselves and they're sort of like a, a little U-shaped situation. They sort of curl up to change direction. I don't know a lot about them, but yeah, it would be fun to make a list of things I haven't drawn and do an entire drawing challenge out of that. And then maybe, I don't know, add wings to everything or something that, like a really weird element. Hmm. Yeah. Or tails. I could do turn everything I've never drawn before into mermaids for May. That would be an illustration option. Okay. He's starting to get there. Mm hmm. Just with one layer. And this is definitely pressed down harder here. This is just solid yellow. Again, I don't do a lot of yellow illustrations, so maybe Hue of Ember is a drawing challenge in the month of November. So maybe that's a good challenge for making sure you use all the colors up in your sets, that you're going through everything evenly. I just don't draw a lot of yellow things. I've done some yellow birds. That's about as yellow as I've kind of gotten with things. And then this really strong stripe here. Yep, that's what we're doing. It's a slug. <laughs> yeah, I don't imagine this video will be very popular. It's just sort of a strange subject matter, but if you're interested in things in your area, in um, sort of critters, uh, scientific illustrations. You know, it's kind of like drawing insects. It's not, it's not for everyone, but the people who it is for absolutely love it. So, you know. And make sure I add. I'm gonna have to add some gray here. Let's start with the gray. And that head, it's sort of a knobbly, weird, weird head, isn't it? Some of this looks like it's different colors, sort of work on my blending here to get all the different things. <laughs> like I said, when it's a solid color, it's really, really subtle. You have to pay attention to all the details. And that's what kind of sets it apart. I 
There's one. Where's the other one in this photo? If there isn't. Oh, it's kind of tiny. I might make up that information. There we go. That way it's more recognizable. I don't know. Maybe that'll help. Maybe it won't help. <laughs> I like to think everything helps. Okay. Alrighty. I'm just making sure I've kind of outlined it darker and the middle is lighter. So that would be my slug. And he has a little, you know, they have texture. <laughs> There's sort of pock marks and things going on with them. It's a whole situation. This one. I want some shadow here. So I'm going to blow this up into the yellow. But yeah, so many slugs. And then, um, you know, we have a dog and she's a big girl. And when she was a puppy, the first thing we trained her was leave it. <laughs> because of the sheer amount of just wildlife and plants and weird things and sniffing and we knew she was going to be big like we were warned hey she's part mastiff she's are you okay with that and we were like yes yes we were fine with that but um yeah so making sure she doesn't i don't know pop one in her mouth or give it a lick or you know make herself ill training it's nice to have really fun and unique wildlife, but you have to make sure that everybody around you knows what's what. And, uh, you know, my kids are older, so it's not really a problem, but younger kids have to be taught. <laughs> we don't pick up everything we see. <laughs> That's not a snack. So. All right. The head looks just about sorted. Alright, okay, and then we need to do the proverbial we. I don't know if you're drawing this with me or not today. It'd be fun if you were. If you were, you can like tag me. You could tag me on Instagram and show me yours. <laughs> Look what I drew! And we can enjoy that together. I don't want to go darker. Yeah. I don't, I'm okay with caterpillars and picking those up and doing that. I don't, I don't typically pick up slugs. I just kind of appreciate, identify and appreciate, and that's about it. Um, yeah. We have so many weird critters that walk through our yard. Um, one of my Vlogtober videos is my backyard. Uh, I think it was, which one was it? Vlogtober day, day two. Yeah, that's my backyard. So the fact that we have, you know, raccoons and we have possums and we have a ton of skunks and we have a bear and we just have all the all the things so just trying to be cognizant of that and careful of that our dog did get sprayed in the face by a skunk and that happened fairly recently <laughs> oh gosh oh the look on her face like, if not a friend, why friend shaped? She doesn't understand. She loves absolutely everybody, everywhere she is. She's big, so people that are afraid of dogs aren't a fan, and that's fine. Um, we try to be really respectful of that. But um, she absolutely adores people. And uh, she introduced herself to a skunk. It was super dark out. Skunk said, I got you. <laughs> Literally in the face. And yep. 
So we did a, a soap, baking soda, hydrogen peroxide mixture. It's pretty effective. I mean, <laughs> she still smelled like weird tires for a while. But gosh, she was so sad. <laughs> so sad. Do not make a 100 pound dog sad. It just breaks your heart. <laughs> it's just really, oh, poor baby. <laughs> it's a lot of that. So, yep. And these guys are really easy to overlook, especially because they're always like climbing in and around and under leaves and hiding in things. So that doesn't, that doesn't help the situation any. I'm trying to get all the details here. polka dots, sort of that pocked texture. So some gray here. Gray is not the most dynamic. Yeah, I think I'll switch back to the brown. The brown's more interesting. <laughs> it's a slug. Did you know that that's what I was drawing today? <laughs> Woke this morning, I wonder what Kendra's gonna draw. And yeah. <laughs> uh, hope you're not too grossed out. Again, drawing things I've never drawn before, always a really nice challenge for me. Um, the more challenges I can create for myself, the less bored I am. And the more motivated I am to continue and keep going with it. I like a good challenge. I like it kind of weird. Yeah. <laughs> Starting to look sluggish. Okay. I need to go in a little more with this guy. And the inside here, just because there seems to be a bit of shadow. for everybody. Okay. <laughs> it's my slug. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, I don't know. I don't know, I don't know. I'll have to turn my lamp on to make sure my edges look good and my blending looks all right at some point today. But for the most part, he's kind of done. Like it wasn't, he wasn't a ton of work, just a little bit of work. Okay. I hope you enjoyed this video. <laughs> I hope you have an absolutely wonderful day and I will talk to you tomorrow. Bye. No. Mm-hmm.
them. Where are you going? Don't make it weird. Let me spy on you. Oh my god. Things to say.